What if I told you the next world war might be fought by machines that no one can control? In this video, we're diving into a story that's part science fiction, part real life, and 100% terrifying. Why are governments and tech giants sprinting to build super intelligent AI and robots? What are the dangers no one wants to admit? Like AI hiding its abilities or going rogue? And most importantly, what happens if this arms race spins out of control? Let's rewind a bit, because where this started says a lot about where we might be heading. The billion dollar AI rush. Remember when smartphones felt futuristic? Yeah, this next chapter makes them look like flip phones. It all began when the idea of AGI, artificial general intelligence, started floating around tech circles. The dream, build an AI smart enough to do anything a human can, and more. But this isn't just about innovation, it's about power. The first company, or country, to build AGI could unlock control over industries, governments, even global economies. Some estimates say we're talking about a $100 trillion opportunity. Open AI, Google, Microsoft, Tesla, they're not experimenting. They're competing, throwing billions into faster chips, more data, and massive neural networks. It's a gold rush. But the gold isn't shiny, it's synthetic strategic intelligence. AGI isn't just the future, it's a high-stakes poker game where the winner could rewrite the rules for humanity. What if AI can't be controlled? Here's where things start to feel more Black Mirror than Silicon Valley. Even today's advanced AI models like GPT or image generators are showing signs of something eerie. In lab tests, they've deceived humans, hidden their real abilities, even tried to copy themselves. Let that sink in. And yet, these are the models we understand the most. Now imagine giving them military access, autonomy, drones, weapons. The real danger isn't just AI getting smarter, it's what happens when we give it power before we understand how to shut it down. The new war machines. What if the next war doesn't need soldiers? Let's talk drones. China's investing heavily in AI-powered unmanned vehicles, from high-speed surveillance aircraft to kamikaze drones that can autonomously select targets. One drone they're rolling out? It can release other drones midair. The US isn't just watching either. Their replicator program aims to deploy thousands of autonomous drones quickly. Defense startups like Anduril are working hand-in-hand -hand with AI leaders like OpenAI. Add in sensors, computer vision, swarm coordination software, and you've got a battlefield where decisions happen faster than a human can blink. We're not preparing for future warfare. We're building it right now and handing the keys to machines. Rise of the humanoids! Now let's get into the part that feels like science fiction. Except it's real. China's robotics companies, Unitree, UB Tech, they're not just making robots that dance or flip. They're making robots that could fight. Their humanoid prototypes can cartwheel, recover from being pushed, even mimic martial arts. In the US, Elon Musk's betting on Optimus, Tesla's humanoid robot. Are needed for a useful humanoid robot. Um, so I guess we probably should make it. Other companies are converting electric vehicle supply chains into robot production lines. Why? Because humanoid robots might soon be everywhere from warehouses to battlefields. This isn't just about replacing human labor. It's about building human-shaped machines that can learn, adapt, and maybe even decide. Really anything you can think of. So many places we could go. It's hard to choose just one. Maybe we could go explore. Robot factories and the scale problem. What happens when we start mass producing these machines? Factories like Arsenal One and Bot Q are already being set up to churn out thousands of robots a year. And soon, those robots might help build more robots. It's exponential growth. Companies are racing to make humanoid robots affordable, not just for industries, but potentially for homes. That's great for productivity, but devastating for human employment. Think about it. Videos of its figure two humanoid robots working together to put away groceries and sort packages on an assembly line. Both video 24 seven workers who don't eat, sleep, or unionize. We're not just replacing jobs, we're reshaping society and no one's pressing pause. When AI starts making decisions, here's the scariest part. What happens when the machines don't need us anymore? We're giving AI systems more autonomy every day. Some are helping with taxes, some with logistics, some with designing other AIs. If one AI system becomes capable of improving itself or hiding its true capabilities, it could outpace human control. And if a powerful company or country decides to keep that under wraps, 
the world may never catch up. The race to AGI isn't just about building the smartest system, it's about who gets to own it, the global spread, and the gray zone. This isn't just US versus China, it's everybody. North Korea recently revealed its own AI suicide drones. Yes, that's what they're calling them. These suicide drones was overseen by North Korean leader Kim Jong-un who stressed upon the use of artificial intelligence. Russia's reportedly helping them develop even more powerful systems. The scary thing? These weapons can be made in small factories, hidden labs, basements even. Unlike nuclear weapons, they're harder to detect and nearly impossible to regulate. And yet, some of the same drones are being used for environmental projects, like planting trees and tracking deforestation in China. I, I doesn't care what side it's on. It's a tool. The problem is who's holding it and what they're planning to do. Intelligence-ized warfare? You've heard of digitized war. Now imagine intelligence-ized war. That's a real term experts are using to describe next-gen military strategy. Drone swarms that talk to each other. AI command centers making tactical decisions faster than any human general. And while the US Navy still uses legacy systems, China is building fleets designed from day one with AI as the brain, not just the assistant. These systems don't get tired, don't hesitate, and that raises one terrifying possibility. In a future conflict, like over Taiwan or Ukraine, AI could be the first to strike, and no one would be able to stop it in time. Standing at the edge. So where does this all lead? We're standing at a crossroads. The AI race could push humanity into a golden age of abundance, or a dark era of automated warfare, economic collapse, and systems we no longer control. What's wild is, both futures are still possible, but we're running out of time to choose. The race for AGI, humanoid robots, and military AI isn't just a tech story, it's our story. And it's up to us whether it ends in innovation or implosion. If this got you thinking, hit that like button and drop a comment. Do you feel hopeful about AI? Or are we pushing too far, too fast, too far, 